What's up everyone? Today we're talking about practice and what you can get done in 20 minutes. Let's do it. So I'm sure every single one of you out there would love to practice more. I know I would, I'd love to get back in that four, five hour daily practice grind that I was on a few years ago, but life finds a way. Life uh, finds a way. Of pulling at your time. So I've made a commitment to myself and I wanna share that with you today. I'm gonna to practice 20 minutes every day and it's the first thing I do. Now there's a reason for that. I have found that with the many, many things I've got going on with my lessons, with gigs, with sets to learn, with videos to edit, videos to record and all that sort of stuff, all my time is getting sucked away and it's very easy for my day to run away. And so I end up like, it's like three o'clock, I'm about to start teaching, I'm like, well, I haven't actually practiced myself. So I've made a commitment for my own benefit, for my own drumming to practice 20 minutes and that's the first thing I do every single day. So I'm using one of my own practice diaries, which um, you can get yourself if you want, links in the description below. That, those practice diaries are laid out in a stage one, stage two, stage three method, this thing I've done before, talked about before. And I use it in my teaching and I use it in my own practice. Stage one is technical, stage two is application, and stage three is improvisation. So in stage one, I am working on a little hand builder. I'm doing five minutes on my hands and I'm doing a little 4-3-2 exercise, which I've developed, which is great for just evening stuff out, working on accents, and I put some flams in and stuff. It's kind of a nice little long-term warm-up. And then I work on this 10-bar chops builder, which I actually showed one of the first videos I showed on the channel, link up here. So I do the first one for five minutes, and I do the second one for five minutes. My metronome's on, I'm focused, I'm making things cl clear and accurate, I'm moving around the drum kit with that chops builder exercise. So in stage two, I'm doing my paradiddle combo system, a very systematic way of working through various different drum set things using paradiddles and inversions. And I'm just working through it one tempo per day, again for five minutes. Trying to make it clear, trying to line everything up because it's four-way coordination, trying to count out loud to really solidify my time. My metronome's actually chucking out all those 16th notes, so I'm really, really tightening stuff up and I just use this as reset practice. So this will align me, make me tighter, a better groovy drummer, just kind of get myself back in the zone, sort of match fit as it were. So in stage three, I'm improvising, and I'm improvising with triplets, because that's a big weakness of mine, I'm trying to keep my left foot going, and I'm just free form improv. Literally that is it. Improvisation is an incredibly powerful tool in your practice if done correctly. If you just improvise by jamming around nonsense, then you probably end up gonna, gonna end up playing the same things you already play and not get any better. If you're trying to improvise with new ideas though, you'll find that your brain is accessing that information in a different way and that's kind of getting you gig ready. So I always try to balance my practice by having a little bit of improvisation at the end. So as you can see, 20 minutes, focused, deliberate, working on specific things can actually help you improve your drumming. You don't have to practice for eight hours a day. But what should you practice? Well, I cannot tell you that. No teacher in the world can tell you exactly what to practice. You kind of have to work that out yourself. But try and have a balance. Do some technical stuff, do some application stuff where you're learning other people's grooves, where you're developing ideas, where you're putting things deliberately on the drum set, and then try and improvise. Try and access that fast twitch muscles, the neurons firing so that you can, on the gig, use all this stuff you've practiced. So this was less of a lesson, more just a little chat to camera. Um, I hope it shows you that you don't have to do a lot of stuff to get better at the drums. You just have to be committed and do it daily. If you did enjoy this lesson, please hit subscribe. You know what to do, hit like, and I will see you in the next lesson. Take care. Thank you.